Hello, I am uh, Dr. Ashwini Kumar Panigrai. I am a senior consultant nephrologist at Apollo Hospital Jubilee Hills. Uh, today we will discuss a more important topic of kidney failure that is called CKD or chronic kidney disease and how to prevent it. So chronic kidney disease if you tell uh, by definition or as we know that if somebody has problems of kidney for more than three months or it persists for more than three months we tell it as CKD or chronic kidney disease. So coming to the what are the specific causes or important causes rather of chronic kidney disease. So nowadays most important cause is diabetes. So diabetes is one of the leading cause for chronic kidney disease. Apart from diabetes there are other causes like hypertension or high BP, then different glomerular diseases different genetic diseases and another important which is goes unnoticed is by taking different medications and most important is nephrotoxic drugs such as painkillers over the counter medicines we go and tell we have pain long term pain long term intake of painkillers mostly NSAIDs or nephrotoxic painkillers are very important cause for CKD. So coming to as we know that these are the leading causes of chronic kidney disease so we should be very important as we tell uh, can we prevent it. Yes we can prevent it because if we the, diagnose it early then we can definitely lessen or definitely we can curtail or definitely we can slow the process of chronic kidney disease that is very important I will tell. So how to identify it early and who are the risk factors people or the risk at risk people rather at risk people who are uh, for check for the chronic kidney disease then if we tell the at risk people they are who are definitely uh, we should uh, see them early these uh, people is as i told you the diabetic people people who are having uh, uncontrolled sugar or sugar for a long time blood pressure who have already have family disease of kidneys or who are smokers or who are elderly these are the patients which we should screen them early so what are the tests we should do them so that we will know that they are having kidney disease that is also important so if we know them then we can treat them early also so basic important things which we should see for the kidney disease are important one is hemoglobin and basic important in investigations like urine or how much urine protein he is passing and the kidney function test what we normally order is uh, urea creatinine and ultrasound i think these are the basic tests which we can see of these following patients which i already told so that we can identify them early so once we identify then what to do of course he, they have to be with the nephrologist in regular intervals or they should uh, go to the inter nephrologist and uh, whatever the advice they should take the important things is definitely to control the sugar that is very very important we should tell the patient or the patient should know that his blood sugars has to be controlled to slow the progression of ckd now similarly also the blood pressure the blood pressure has to be optimized or the blood pressure has to be maintained in a particular range then next important things will be uh, to avoid smoking to uh, have a healthy diet basically uh, less of protein uh, less of salt and a regular exercise that is very very important to balance to slow the progression of ckd i think this is very important message and the important thing is most of the people they take over the counter medicines like painkillers and all this also should we should they should know that which are the medicines to be taken or not and very very important regular follow up with the nephrologist i think that's the way we should deal with uh, the patients of chronic kidney disease thank you